going on? Um, today I'm working on uh, the chicken coop. I'm trying to finish out this build. I get my chickens in like three weeks to a month. Um, right now I'm working on doing the uh, predator proof for it using a hardware cloth. I'll show you guys what I got going on. So I got this side here pretty much done. Um, I actually dug down uh, below the base of the, the chicken run um, and came out about 14 inches and I'm laying one piece of hardware cloth all the way around and then I'm um, attaching it using these screws with washers so that way it won't pull through and I'm doing two layers I'm doing um, a layer on the bottom and a layer on top and I'm overlapping them and I'm making sure that I go all the way up to the roofing um, that way no animal you know is, is any kind of predator is going to be able to get in here um, mice have uh, the ability to squeeze through really small holes um, they might be able to find a way to get into the chicken run, but the coop is completely sealed up. Uh, it's it's going to be uh, pretty difficult for them to get in there. Um, but uh, what I'm really concerned about are foxes, uh, possums, and raccoons. We have a lot of those in this area. Pretty much any area is going to have possums and raccoons, but we do have foxes, so it's something that I need to, to be concerned about. I've got these treated 4x4s as my base. Um, I dug all the way down to just below the, the 4x4 and then I've got the hardware cloth coming out. Um, it's a 14 inch piece, it's attached about 2 inches, so I'm coming out about 12 inches and I'm going to bury it with dirt and throw wood chips on top of it. The reason I'm doing this is if an animal comes up to it and tries to dig underneath, they're going to hit this hardware cloth. I'll be doing the corners out. Um, this, this is going to be the entire perimeter, even underneath the chicken coop itself. And then by overlapping it, with another piece, I'll be removing those screws and then attaching it, um, overlapping both pieces. It'll make it a lot more difficult for an animal to get inside. So that right there is pretty much how it'll look when I'm done. I've still got to fence in um, a good portion of this and do underneath the uh, chicken coop itself. Um, another really good thing for uh, keeping predators out, a good automated door. Chicken guard, um, you can set it dust to dawn, you can set it on a timer. Goes up, goes down all by itself. You don't have to be out here in the morning to let them out. And then at night this will close and there's a uh, an activity light on it <clears throat> that'll show you if it's open so that way you can actually see it. Um, I, I positioned it so I could see it from the house. So another thing as far as trying to predator proof this thing um, on these windows that I bought I wanted them to have nice ventilation in here. Um, I ended up putting hardware cloth. So on the inside of the window I attached a nice piece of hardware cloth bolted it down on the sides put a piece of wood down here this little threshold to kind of hold it in place down at the bottom um, and the top, the top, it's extremely tight in here. I don't think anything's going to be able to get through. I have two more windows that I'm going to do this to. Uh, that way they can have the windows open during the day, get some nice ventilation in there. Um, you know, at night it, it's still going to get nice and warm out here. I will be putting a thermometer inside just to kind of keep track of that. But, um, you know, I, it's going to be a pretty comfortable chicken coop. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Well, the uh, chicken coop build is pretty close to being done. Uh, it's been a fun video series um, filming the entire process of this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to build it. Uh, I need to finish fencing it in. I still have to build this door right here. And if you notice, all these stakes with the red tips in the end of them, um, I'm going to be using uh, cattle fencing. I'm going to fence this whole area in, and this is going to be a secondary chicken run for when I'm actually home. I can pop this second door open let them out and you know kind of scratch around and I'm going to be building some obstacles with some um, uh, 
cut trunks that I that I've got some logs and things like that. Um, I'm even going to build a little swing. <clears throat> Um, just to give them a bigger area to run around in. The chicken coop is a pretty decent size, but you know it's kind of like being stuck in the house. Uh, it'd be nice to get out, um, have a little bit more of a bigger area. Plus, there's a lot of bugs out here. And I'm going to be doing a uh, compost all the way in the back, so that in that way they got something to kind of crawl around on and find some bugs and do fun stuff like that. But um, I appreciate all the comments that I've gotten throughout this build. I know it's gone pretty long, um, but I am trying to cover the entire process of it. And I appreciate all the support I've gotten, um, and you know, any uh, any ideas you guys got, um, leave them in the comments. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm just kind of you know doing it step by step. Never done anything like this before, so. But um, yeah, until next time.